Hey, you folks, Quilly Team here, and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Football Manager 2018. We're playing as Portsmouth, and we had two away games between the uh, last video and this one. The first one was a nil-nil draw against AFC Wimbledon, and it's always uh, acceptable to pull off a, um, a draw on an away game, I would say, and... Uh, Wimbledon on that crazy, crazy climb that they've been doing here. What an excellent, amazing team story that they have here. Uh, so we got that. And then we obliterated Northampton while away 4-0 over here. And that's despite the fact that seven minutes into the game, Cal Naismith was injured right away. We brought in Matthew Kennedy as a substitute, and he had a wonderful game. He was named the player of the match as well. He scored, he was responsible for two additional assists, some key play, and I uh, can't remember what this one is, it's really good. Chances created here, yeah. So he had a wonderful, very, very good game. And I was like, okay, so um, Cal Naismith's gonna be out of action for a little while, out of commission for a little while, but it's okay because apparently, uh, you know, Kennedy is, um, is, is finally hitting a stride. He always had a hard, bit of a hard time actually getting a half decent rating uh, for some reason. Um, but I was like, oh, th this is gonna be fine. And then immediately the next day in practice, he goes and gets himself injured as well. Uh, where is he? Matthew Kennedy down here. And he's going to be out. Do we not get a tooltip? There you go. Um, not for a very, very long time, but he's certainly going to miss the next game, which is like, oh, come on, give me a break. So because both Cal and Matthew here are out and our inside forward sort of inverted winger situation is a little bit bleaker, I thought, you know what, we might go and, and put in an alternate system here for today's match. We've got a home game against Fleetwood over here. Um, they... Uh, they ended last year pretty well. It was this fourth in League One. Um, I think they're predicted to be about sort of a mid-table finish this time around. Um, so hopefully, hopefully we can pull off a win over there. But yeah, putting in a bit of a different system here uh, without the inverted Fords because um, Jamal Lowe, I mean, Roan Conan, uh, Con sorry, Connor Ronan, bah, um, has been playing that position and being doing okay. Jamal Lowe, there's still some things. I was like, I don't know, maybe we can do something. Uh, we don't access, have access to the same pool. What can we do to sort of activate some people better? Um, and I thought, well, what if we played Brett Pittman as an advanced playmaker? Because he's certainly going to be excellent in that role over here. He's got um, excellent mental abilities. He's got great passing over here. Uh, great first touch. He's actually still got great finishing. It was always his problem was always the fact that he wasn't too terribly speedy. So it was like, maybe, you know, what if we do this? Um, use wingers instead of inverted forwards, put them on more of a support role, really try to put a lot of emphasis on uh, Mr. Chaplin over here, which might be a bit much. Um, we're playing our midfielders in a defensive midfield position, which might create a bit of a hole here, but I think with the Regista and the fact that he can roam quite a bit, uh, I think there's going to be good connections there. And the wingbacks being on support, I think they're still going to be moving up and really taking up positions still sort of in the midfield, you know, when we're on the attack. So I think we're going to have relatively good coverage. It doesn't mean we can't switch to the 4-3-2-1 Regista kind of style um, midway through the game if for some reason this isn't working out, but I think this is going to be a perfectly fine start. Uh, I'm going to go with the counter mentality because we're going to be a little bit more, you know, we're going to stay just maybe a little bit more chill. This is also going to cause the forwards to not sit quite as deep, which I think is going to help close some of this gap as well. And I think it's the right degree of balance. Um, so we're going to do that. We're going to focus on attack and movement so that hopefully we can score them points. And yeah, let's go ahead. Match preview. Boom, 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 boom. Come on, match preview me. There we go. Um, so league's position. Yeah, fourth and fifth in the league over here. So yeah, again, like it would be really great to pick up a win over here. An average of 10, just 3,700 is the worst of all teams. Is that us? No, that's Fleetwood. Uh, they have good home form, but it doesn't matter because they're not playing at home right now. 18 degrees and calm. Uh, referee seems to be, you know, kind of middle of the road. I don't think we're going to make any particularly changes to anything at this time. Uh, this team pick is going to be okay. You do see like Jamal Lowe here. I don't think he's played a lot of games uh, for us yet. Uh, the 6.4 rating is pretty low, but I don't think he's comfortable playing in the um, in that um, inside forward kind of role yet. We are still certainly training him uh, to try to get him to excel a bit on that left side, but he's going to be playing on the right today as a standard winger. So we'll see how that goes. Um, surprisingly, I have to say the familiarity with this is like fluid everywhere instantly. Um, without having to worry about it. The role, uh, the position role duty thing is still a little lower, but um, for, for individuals in a couple of places, but overall the team is going to feel this pretty well. So I think it'll be nice to have this as a backup for various things. And we're going to try this. Oh, they got a heart for us. Oh, that's so sweet. Thank you very much, y'all. So they're going to have a heavy presence in the midfield. 
um, quite a bit, but not go up the flanks as much. We may want to adapt our defense in a response to that, but we will see. Looks like the attendance here today, and that's our home game, these are all our supporters in blue. Really, really good attendance. I mean, this is an important match, so I can see why. There you go, Pittman getting right away, getting things out to the flanks. You can see, it'll be interesting. Ooh, Rose kind of screws that up terribly. That was just looks like a first touch failure uh, to capture that pass. Look, the pass was good. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see how the wings uh, perform, because they're gonna be a little closer to one another, um, as opposed to operating independently. And again, forcing our wingbacks normally to go quite far forward and really set up those crosses. Mr. O'Keefe picking up a yellow early on in the game like this doesn't make me feel extremely comfortable, but it'll do. That throw was a huge fail as well. What is going on here? All right, Rose to Ronan. Back to Rose, tech to Ronan. I'm surprised he didn't go out to the flanks. A big long distance shot here. I don't know. I'm already feeling the team's a bit disorganized here with these changes. Drop down six positions. So rude to give us that message right away. Our passing has been shocking. We're just gifting possession to Fleetwood. <sighs> it certainly seems that way. Um, team analysis. Um, get rid of the shots. Show me passes for ourselves. What's our pass completion rate? I don't know, but... I don't know. I don't know if it's been that bad. New teams, players. Yeah, I, I don't know. Let me close this over here. Hmm. I think there's still there is some discoordination with this with this uh, this tactic. We'll see. Pittman gets it out to Donahue. Donahue centers it to O'Keefe. Interestingly enough, O'Keefe with a long shot, nicely on target, forcing a corner. Oh, one thing I just realized. I did not set the set piece takers. This is an entirely new tactic. So some things are being reset over here. Um, the corner takers. Who do we want to actually have take the corners? Because we might, so for example, we might want to have um, Ronan be in front of the, 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 the net there. Um, how good is, yeah, you have no jumping reach. So I think, how do we get back over there? You're going to be fine there. Uh, corners, you tend to want to be opposite side, right? I think. There. We'll just do a little something like that. Uh, free kicks. You're just good enough. I'll give it to you for both. And then for the throw-ins, um, well, here, we'll put in the substitute. And then these defenders can probably take the throw-ins, even if they're sort of on the wrong side and they'll have to adjust. I think that's going to be okay. Well, I'll tell you what, we'll do that. And then invert you over there. Oh, you're already there. Um, Dion. So we'll have the right defender do the right throw-ins and vice versa. Okay, we'll confirm those changes. I don't know if they'll actually take effect for here. Mr. Rose, oh, I clicked on an ad. I don't have that disabled. Come on. I'm sure I did. Rose gets it in there. We're doing, you know, we're, we're leaving the, the actual behavior of the corners, you know, on sort of random. I'm very concerned about this match. And they may be making the, the tackle change was a mistake. Oh, Chaplin with the run. That's exactly the sort of thing we're looking for. I was going to say, that looks to me like a drawn penalty right there. Gets tripped up. He clearly had a shooting opportunity. You tripped up someone who had a shooting opportunity. That's a clear, clear, clear penalty. Um... Oh, red card as well. Really? Oh, I didn't expect that. I thought he was going to go for a yellow. Hell, just calling the foul would have been enough for me. Okay, now we've got an entirely different situation. So this is Mr. Pittman taking our penalty kick. Saved. That's frustrating. But at least they're going to be down a man over here. So with them down a man, let's continue our, our, consider our tactical changes. First of all, we are going to be going for more control, certainly more offensive. Familiarity dips a lot with that though so you know what instead of doing that let's go over here this is our control regista plan um and i think that's the right way to do it and i don't want to do any substitutes um i don't know what brett Pittman's best role is in this particular configuration I think he will be stuck playing ball winning midfielder. Well, I don't think we need the advanced playmaker. Um, a 
deep lying playmaker actually, you know, makes a fair amount of sense. Let's put your deep lying playmaker on support over here. That's going to be okay. Uh, I think we might want to swap these two. Nope, never mind. And we're going to do that. Okay. I'm just trying to. Uh, what? How come the familiarity of this isn't as high as I would expect either? Maybe it would have been better to just do it the other way. Still, this is certainly a more aggressive stance, right? With their inside forwards and the more aggressive wing backs, I think this is the way to generate more scoring chances. So we'll go ahead and confirm that. Okay. Um, and you know what, Mr. O'Keefe? Uh, I'm going to tell you, where do I do it? Is it from, from here? I know you're a ball winning and you've got the tackle harder. Uh, so I can't tell you to ease off tackles, unfortunately. It's not available in that position. I suppose I could switch you out. Instead of a ball winning, what if I just told you to be a defensive-minded central midfielder? And now I can probably tell you to ease off tackles. Now, this might be leaving a bit of a defensive gap here because people aren't really playing defensively here. Tell you what, I'm going to switch the wing backs to more def uh, supportive. They're not going to push quite as deep. I'm just worried about the counterplay causing some problems. Uh, do I not have to actually... Oh, close you. There you go. Confirm changes. All right. We're going to do something like that. We're still fairly offensively minded, but we're having to rebalance a few things. O'Keefe with the ball. Gets it to Ronan. Oh, kicks high. That was a really, really good opportunity. I'm kind of disappointed that didn't go in here. So in theory, our possession should climb a little bit, and hopefully we're not going to give up too many shots on goal. All right, Donahue, and he'll probably cross you a little sooner, not quite as deep, because he's on support instead. Pittman gets it to Lowe, who takes the shot there, body blocked, walks, fails to get it into the box, gets tackled away with him getting uh, just falling over and tripping up here. Um, just out of curiosity, what does the opposition look like currently? Yeah, so... They're still very strong in the midfield. Hmm. I'm actually wondering if having the playmaker in the midfield is bad for us, because it might be encouraging us to play the ball through the middle more than is strictly good for us. McGee with a toss to Walks. Sanders is Rose. Quick pass to Pittman. Who's looking for a target. Sends it wide. Rowan's actually having forced to go backwards here a bit. I'm wondering if we should have the uh, the wing backs on more of an attacking role. Ronin uh, centers it to Lowe, who does try to head it towards the goal, but that was a really easy save right from the start. Her possession is still very middling here. Of course, the, the opposite team might be playing a more defensive sort of possession style game, just try to hold the ball. Um, you know, they've got a lot of passing triangles set up in the midfield where they can do something like that. So that might be the case. They're getting pretty tired. They're going to be forced to run around a fair bit. Our energy levels are higher. We might be able to... Um, we might be able to just sort of grind them down a little bit. Let's take a look at the analysis desk. Um, passing's been shocking. Get rid of passing to space. I mean, maybe. We've got a lot of bodies in the final third. You know what? I think we are going to get rid of pass into space. But I'm also going to get rid of play out defense. So this is going to encourage the goalkeeper to maybe send it a little deeper to start off with. Um, and we might be able to avoid that midfield. And making too many changes is, is very sketchy and risky, but... <sighs> you are not playing up to form. You are really not playing up to form, Brett. Like, I'm going to be assertive here. Um, I'm not happy with your performance today. All right. Let's give it a go. I may be making too many changes, but it feels like this is a, a, a situation that's ripe to try to adapt to. I don't know. It's a shame, like, that we're not running our, our kind of A squad here. Well, I mean, we're running plenty of A squad people. We're just missing... It's like we've got a puzzle with some missing pieces, right? That's is kind of what it is. It's not that we're playing a bad puzzle, it's just we don't have quite the right pieces. We're combining two different puzzle piece, uh, puzzles. Okay. Um, that is shockingly bad at a 6.2.
Adam May's got a lot of potential for a lot of different things. I don't know how comfortable he is in that role, but he's got, like, really good uh, motivation, so we're going to do that. Do we switch out Jamal Lowe right now? Not yet. Plus, um, Garrett Evans is actually still a bit tired from things. I didn't actually change anything there, right? I mean, other than this. Just funny, when you pick up someone, you drop them, sometimes it reorders people over here in a weird way. But yeah, everyone up front is playing poorly. Okay, well, let's just do the one sub now. We might do another 60-minute sub on, like, our striker or something like that. We'll have to verify, like, how many scoring opportunities we have versus, you know, just how many failed shots we've got. <clears throat> All right, goal kick. Come on, get the counterplay going. It's starting to be very embarrassing. All right, there's our sub. Nigi sends it far. Again, we don't have to play out the fence anymore. Chaplin does get the header. O'Keefe sets it to Ronan who's, you know, send it forward to Chaplin, who's surrounded by people and takes a long-distance shot there. One, I, what I'm going to do is I'm going to set these guys to attack. Um, especially with the inside forwards. You know what? I think it was maybe a mistake not to leave them there on their more normal behavior. Let's get them a little bit more involved in these plays. We have to look for overlap as well, which does encourage them to play a little further forward, but now we're making it even more explicit because they're the ones that should be responsible for moving the ball up. Um... And then connecting it to, in theory, the, the two wingers slash the striker who's in the middle here. We're 60 minutes in. Jamal's still performing poorly. Another yellow card being given out. Free kick here. Way too high. Nowhere close. There's the opposition uh, supporters. All right, well, no 6.2 anymore, right? That's good. Here's May. Backwards pass to Rose. Centers it to O'Keefe. Shots nicely on target, forcing a corner. I mean, that wasn't necessarily delivered with a tremendous amount of power, but getting the job may be done. Can O'Keefe keep possession? No, it does get cleared out, but oh, it stays in the opposing half. That's good. Possession slightly in our favor. We're three to one on shots. On target, not so great. But yeah, the rating is starting to improve a bit. I, I think playing the wingbacks more aggressive is actually making a big difference. Chaplin, can he beat the opposition? He can. He doesn't have a lot of time to, to build up a great, great shot here. But at least it's on. And another corner kick. Come on. Oh, I clicked on another goddamn ad in the... God, grr. Thinking, is the corner leading to anything? Nods it away. Times a volley. Wide on the mark. No, I don't think anything's going on over here. Okay. Subs. Uh, probably subbing up front. Let's bring in Ollie Hawkins, who's actually done some pretty good stuff a few times. And uh, Sylvan's got a lot of energy. I mean, obviously he's something there, but maybe, you know what? Let's do a swap on the wing back over here. Which is, you know, can he can get involved in a lot of different types of plays. And maybe uh, a wing back with a lot of stamina. I mean, there's a lot of gameplay left. If we lose someone now, we're going to be kind of screwed. Uh, he decides to tip it over. I'm not sure he needed to do that. Hopefully we can defend this. Can you imagine they score, you know, a man down, and then we can't do anything on the other side? We just got a 4-0 game. What's going on here? All right, Ronan just heads it out of the penalty area. They leave it be for a throw-in. At least it's not in the corner. So there's something to say with that. Um, and we are, we are control-minded. So a little bit more aggressive. Control-minded and fluid means the defense is going to push up a little bit further. I don't like that they're bunching up like this. Oh, we do get it off to Lowe, who sends it way far ahead. Um, we, I don't know. this. We removed the pass into space, didn't we? Yes, we did. I mean, it's still going to happen sometimes. That was a bit of a shocking, shocking effort there. Uh, Walks does grab it there, gets it to Rose, sends it way over to Ronan, who sends it across to Walks, tips it forward to Lowe. Does get across in Hawkins gets his head on it. Oh my god. I, th I thought it was a really bad uh, attempt on goal I didn't realize that header was a pass to the other inside forward gets us up in the lead Finally moves us up third position in the league. We have another corner here Ronan taking it uh, But we had no one anywhere close to that But May is there to scoop it up Hawkins with another shot gets deflected off a red body Hawkins picks it up again 
big slide tackle right over there. It's going to be a throw-in for us. I'm actually, it did take us down. I'm surprised we didn't get a call on that slide tackle because it did topple us over completely. And it seemed to be coming in from behind. To me, it's, it seems a little dirty, but all right. Sure. Possession slightly in our favor. Again, we might like to see it a bit more. Shots are now, uh, yeah, we still have a, a three to one, right? Yeah. Uh, we've got four times as much shots, so that's, you'd call that three to one? Three to one, two to one. No, I don't know. Four to one? Four to one, yeah. Four to one is how you would call it. Uh, boo, doo, doo, boo. We've gotten 80% of the shots on. Maybe you should just say it that way. I don't know. Math is hard. Don't do it on screen. All right, an offense by, who are we playing? Fleetwood. Fleetwood Mac. Uh, O'Connor with a big run there, and he's got a couple of targets, you know, far away over here. Uh, Delan is there to knock it away. Ooh, I gotta say, that was a very impressive attempt there. There was no one in that lane at all. And that could have easily gone in. I mean, you know, the goalkeeper's got a fair amount of time to respond to a shot from that far away. But uh, can Lowe get a head on? He oh, my God. I thought that went in. I thought for sure that went in. It looked, again, this sort of like 3D to 2D mapping thing going on with no depth perception is brutal. They're getting really, really tired. Of course, they're having to run around a lot more. They've got the away thing going on as well, which is certainly going to hurt them. Um, unless something goes tragically wrong. And we might just want to go to a more defensive stance now. Um, but I don't know. I don't know if that's true. Um, I was going to say, we, we should be able to peel out a win here, but there's probably going to be like five minutes left. Yeah, five minutes left to this match, and a lot of things can happen. I'm happy to see this grinding up very, very quickly. Now, with the timer up, this is the last play. Oh, the whistle happened right away. It always depends. Sometimes there's a little bit more time there. I think I would have liked to have won more decisively here. That was kind of disappointing. Brett Pittman did a kind of a really poor job and he did a poor job when he was the advanced playmaker as well which he's supposed to be comfortable with um you know sure he's a little bit less comfortable uh playing in the central midfield right now i think we are still trying to train up for something like that should take a quick look um development deep line playmaker in in the middle yeah yeah, as opposed to attacking midfielder. We're training him up for over here, which actually can fit in fairly well with our configuration. So we'll see what we can do to actually get him to do that sort of thing. Hopefully we can get there. Connor Roan with an excellent game. 90% pass completion is very nice. Of course, he's one of the people that's just here on loan for us. So, I mean, it's great that he's doing well. But uh, Jack Wutmo over here, which I know is not how you pronounce his name, but that's how I've decided to pronounce his name from now on. Unfortunately, not particularly happy with that post-game chat. We've got a week break here, which is finally nice, because we had maintain unbeaten record. Nice. Um, because we had a lot of games quite tightly. I think, I feel like training is a good way to show that off. Um, oh no, I guess we've gone too far. So that was that. I guess we did have the break here, but we had a lot of, like, um, two games in a week going on. We're going to have a bunch more of that over here. You can see I've set the focus or the intensity to low if we can do that. Next game is an away game against Scunthorpe. I probably will not televise that. Hopefully we'll do well. Let's take a look at the schedule here just to, um, yeah, confirm. Like, yeah, the only loss we've had was in a cup game. So we are undefeated in the league game. Lots of draws, certainly, although we're on a two-game game, uh, winning streak right now, which isn't good, which isn't bad. Uh, Scunthorpe over here is... How do I find out where they currently are? I suppose I could just look at the competition and just try to spot them over here. Yeah, right over here. Uh, yeah, so, I mean, you know, we're doing better. We're actually in second overall in the league? Really? Really? Just against the Dons, who I don't think we've played yet. MK Dons, recently down from championship. Actually, they, they ended mid-table last season. So they've, they've got a really wonderful team going on this year. But our performances, we're very keen on that. Um, it's a bit of a shame we couldn't do a little bit better in the uh, in the cup matches. Just get, you know, we've met expectation instead of exceeding expectation. Uh, oh, wait, no, we haven't started the FA Cup yet. And we're expected to reach the third round. Oh, okay, we're knocked out over here. And currently we have just played a single one of our group matches over here. And we did win. So hopefully we'll be able to proceed forward with that. Uh, the Fulham's under 23s do have that goal diff uh, advantage. Um, but and then I guess with a group of four, because there's so few games, goal diff actually may in fact come up as the, uh, as the determinant for, for who gets to finish first. So we'll see how that goes. Uh, so we're going to wrap this up here. Um, I got to say, I mean, it, it could have been worse. How? Uh, let me check. How do we check our actual, the final rating of people over here? We can see that here, right? Can we sort? No, because that would be that would be handy. So we got the 7.5 on Ronan. We got the player of the match as well for actually scoring, which was good. 
Uh, we did have a few trans created over here. So our defenders, I, I don't know, our defenders seem to do very well on the offense. They really do create a lot of chance, which is good. Uh, Hawkins over here with the assist and everything like that. But yeah, no no one really good. And Pittman with definitely that disappointing um, play. I feel like Pittman, he's got so much great skill just on paper, but uh, we don't really have the setup for it. I think if we were playing something like two strikers and with Pittman right behind them as a advanced playmaker, that might be the best use of him. But that's not what we're doing. We could conceivably play something like that, of course, but that's not what we're playing. Um, I am happy with the sort of inverted forward uh, play style. It's been doing, I mean, I can't complain about how it's been doing. We're, we're clearly doing very well. So, I mean, not overwhelmingly. These have been these have been really tight. Even our wins, you know, by one over here. Well, that's two, two, two nil, two nil. Both of them away. Actually, I can't complain about that. And that 4-0 drubbing away here. I mean, geez. Yeah. I will keep um, this extra tactic ready to go over here, just in case it comes up more. But we will probably mostly be playing um, the 4-3-2-1 Resista. And that sort of counter... It's, it's weird because it's counter, but very attacking. Again, our forwards stand just not quite as far forward. But um, but when we do start an offensive play, we get a lot of people up front um, to get in there. And hopefully, with the run at defense, we actually will try to beat the defenders a bit more. It's possible that because we were on counter, that's one of the reasons we shot a little further away some of the time. Um, and maybe just going more control would be the way to go. But we'll do this. Again, the familiarity, perfect over here. And less perfect over here. Maybe it's because we haven't been playing with this tactic as much, because in theory it's been in the list since basically the start of things. I don't know. Um, we're no longer doing the match tactics training. Um, I have default set now to attacking movement, although we're still going to be fairly reactive to other development. Um, but yeah, it feels like it feels like the tactic we're using is fairly offensive minded despite this this count this mentality over here and really we are going to be de depend on scoring a fair amount of times um we might give up a little bit more i don't even know if that's true but i like scoring goals so you know i want to i want to practice that whenever possible and yet more poor poor brett pitman over here he's really not suited well to that um we'll bring in some adam may over here for now and see what we can do uh, I wonder, it's probably a big ask, but I wonder if you could retrain Pittman to be a Regista. I'm not sure that we could. Because he at least had a, a passing familiarity with the midfield, and he's got nothing for defensive midfielder, and it's probably a little too late to completely retrain him to something like that, but I don't know. It's an interesting idea to consider. Um, the Regista doesn't need a lot of speed, but he can use a lot of stamina. How's Brett's stamina? And 11. That's, I mean, it's not terrible. I mean, and just out of curiosity, right? If you take a look at, like, uh, whoops, um, defensive midfielder, Brigista, and the skills that you need, other than positioning, which is bizarrely low for someone that, you know, what he's doing, other than positioning, he's got everything. You know, I think I actually will be training him up to do that. We obviously don't want him to play as a, as a ball-winning midfielder. That's not his thing. His tackling's a freaking six, for crying out loud. All right, 29 years old. Can we retrain, retrain you as a defensive midfielder? Again, he's got all the specs for the, the role. It's just a question of can he, can he learn the position. And I don't think we can, like, train him any more generically for defensive midfielder. I mean, I guess we could just put defensive midfielder here. But again, it's got the emphasis on tackling, which isn't really... Yeah, this is what we want. He could make a good one if he could get comfortable with the uh, the position. Let's let's try this for a little while. You know, I don't think it's going to hurt him. It just might not do much. So we'll see how that goes. Adam May over here, he's still someone with like massive, massive potential, which has been going up a fair bit. You can see his skills are shooting up. Um, we are training him again. Uh, another person trying to be trained for the Regista role. Uh, his comfort is pretty good. I mean, he's... He's already really comfortable playing as a ball-winning midfielder, which is great. And he's going to see a lot of play as that, most likely. And so it's a bit, it's almost like a bit of a cross-training that's going on here. Um, he's super not comfortable being a Regista right now. But 
um, I think he's got a lot of potential for it. So he's going to keep being played as a ball-winning midfielder for, for now, but he's being cross-trained as a regista, and I'm super pleased with that. I think he's going to be a great, great pick. I mean, the one thing with the Regista is it might not, you know, make as much use of his tackling, but it's not like he's not going to tackle, right? He's got good marking and good tackling, and maybe, you know, having him thinking more defensively would be good. But again, if you take a look at the Regista, it's not like he has, you know, don't close down or anything like that. In fact, we could even encourage him to, like, mark tighter. And, I mean, he's already got a pretty aggressive tight. Look at this. Like, the default thing of sometimes is pretty far to the right. It's not going to be as crazy as the ball-winning midfielder, which is like super lots. But we could give him an individual one instruction of, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, you can close down more and you can tackle harder or something like that because you're you're really well suited to doing something like that, like a customized Regista version. Anyway, we're going to wrap this up here um, and we will see you next time. Thanks for watching, folks. Bye-bye.